What do you guys? <laughs> I'm just going to Yeah. <laughs>
Good afternoon. Mic's on? Yes? Good afternoon. Look at this. We got reading glasses here just in case. My font's <laughs> big, though. It's, it's certainly uh, my honor to be standing here, my pleasure to be standing here today. Uh, this is where, as many of you know, we will be hosting Game 7 of the Stanley Cup playoffs tomorrow night for our Tampa Bay Lightning. And I would be remiss while I have the, uh, while I have the microphone to not tell Bolts Nation out there, we are in a great position, one game away from going back to the Stanley Cup final and having the opportunity to win the Stanley Cup for the second straight year. I love where we're at. Of course, hockey is very important to all of us here at least all of us who live here, and uh, we're, we're gonna have new fans, we gave them jerseys. <laughs> Hockey's real important to us, but what's going on right now in this rink, which is people getting vaccinated, is even more important. We're, this is a matter of life and death, and we are so pleased here to be able to host this event in Amelie Arena. I'd like to welcome all who came out to Amelie today to get vaccinated and have fun with your family and friends. Again, thank you all for coming out. I'd also like to spend a very special welcome to Dr. Biden. Thank you. Dr. Biden. As well as all the attending media. In addition, I'd like to thank and welcome all the public officials we have here today. Uh, Mayor Castro, thank you for attending. Her partner, Anna. Congresswoman Kathy Castro. Thank you. Congressman Charlie Crisp, and Hillsborough, Hillsborough County Commissioner Pat Kemp. Here at the Lightning, we are committed to more than just having a good team on the ice, although that's kind of nice. We also support a lot of initiatives through this community to create a healthy, vibrant Tampa Bay area. That includes giving financially via our Community Hero Program, taking that off, I should have done it before, and I will put it right back on. Giving our time through our employee volunteer program and also supporting initiatives like this vaccine today. With community in mind, I want to say thank you to the team at Advent Health who are here facilitating today's vaccines. They have been a vital resource here in the Tampa Bay area and have guided all of us, the entire community, through this COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you, Advent Health. Advent Health has also did clinics to get our own employees here vaccinated, Lightning employees. They vaccinated fans coming yeah, to our no, games, and they are, of course, no, as I've said, I'm providing switch. vaccines today. I'm gonna switch to the other one. I'd like I'm to turn the, the stage over to someone I am sure you have already all heard of. In fact, I recently learned he was the number one selling baseball card of 2020. <laughs> Dr. Fauci, who led the charge during the pandem pandemic and keeping us all of us educated, who has been on the forefront of the fight to end this global 19 pandemic and has been called by many an American hero. Dr. Fauci is the chief medical advisor to the president and has been director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases since, two, since 1984. Dr. Fauci has advised seven US presidents and is no doubt a dedicated public servant. For that, we say thank you so without further ado, it's my honor to introduce Dr. Anthony Fauci. Thank you so much for that very kind introduction. I must say it really is a great pleasure and in many respects an honor to be here with you this afternoon to watch you and, and greet you in participating in what is really an historic undertaking that you're doing. So let me explain what I mean. We are now, uh, all of us throughout the world, are experiencing the most devastating pandemic of an infectious disease 
in over 100 years since the historic pandemic influenza of 1918. And as all of us who are involved in public health know, there is a global pandemic that requires a global response. And a global response requires a domestic response. And a domestic response must depend on the local response. And that's what everybody here in this arena is doing. You are actually in the trenches, on the ground, part of the solution, not only of the problem here in Florida, not only the problem in the United States, but the problem in the entire world. So I really want to express my deep appreciation for doing that. Uh, the people who get vaccinated and the people who are responsible for seeing that they get vaccinated, the actual staff, as well as public and civic leaders, as well as the press, who are very much an important part of all of this process. You are what makes this work, and that's the reason why the president himself is excited about our being here. It's a great honor to be here with Dr. Biden. But I know as someone who is a lot in the public eye that even though many of you, if not all of you, don't get the public recognition that people who are doing this on a very public scale get, what you are doing is as important or more important than what we are doing. Because without you, we are not going to solve the problem. We cannot do it without you. And everyone who gets vaccinated or everyone who injects a vaccine into someone's arm is a very, very important part of the solution to this very difficult time that our entire world is going through. So again, I want to sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart as a public health physician, as a scientist, for all of the extraordinary things that are going on here. And with that, I'd like to now introduce Ms. Dikita Parker. Good afternoon, everyone. It is so important to get vaccinated. Well, let's take this off too. It is so important um, to get vaccinated to protect ourselves and others from the dangers of COVID-19. To start to move forward towards a brighter tomorrow as a community. As an early childhood provider, I work with our most, most precious cargoes every day, and I want to ensure that I stay safe and they stay so safe as well. I'm glad to be able to be here at the Emily um, Arena to receive my vaccine. It's a very exciting um, environment to receive it in. As you can tell, I'm nervous, but I'm very happy and it's a fun experience to receive my vaccine. Thanks to Advent Health, Mr. Vinick and the Lightning for providing me with this experience. And I am also beyond honored to introduce to you at this point, the First Lady of the United States, Dr. Jill Biden. <laughs> thank you, Dakesha. And thank you for getting your shot. We really appreciate it. And hello, everyone, and thank you for coming out here today. And, but before I begin my remarks, let me say that like you, the President and I woke up to the news about Miami, and our hearts were broken to learn of the lives lost, of the life lost. And so we're praying for all of the families and the community of Surfside. Mayor Castor and Representative Castor, thank you, Anna, thank you so much for joining us. And it's great to see so many friends again. And thank you to Tampa Bay Lightning for hosting us today, especially during your Stanley Cup semifinals. I can't believe I'm here. This is just so cool in more ways than one. <laughs> so even when you're really busy, you all can do your part. And Jeff, thank you for putting together this incredible event and for your leadership of this team and this community. And thank you to your family for coming today too. 
and congratulations on your success this season. So uh, as I told you uh, <laughs> when we were in the hold room, you know, I'm a Philly girl through and through. So you might be asking, Dr. Biden, you know, why would you betray your beloved flyers by coming down to Florida and complimenting a rival team? Well, there are some things that transcend even hockey. And I know that my beloved flyers are right behind me and feeling that way. And getting Americans vaccinated is one of them. So right now, five in 10 Floridians are fully vaccinated. And you all know that's just not enough. And that's why I wanted to come here today, because we want everyone to be protected, because your lives and your health matter to me and to your president. So I'm asking everyone listening, all of you out there in the viewing audience, I'm asking you to please go get your shot. And to do th that, I want to say three things to those who haven't yet. So getting the vaccine is safe, it's effective, and it's free. Now, let me talk just a little bit more about those. So number one, as I said, it's safe. And I know that there's a lot of misinformation out there, and people have come up to me and they've said, hey, Jill, you know, how come this was created so fast? And was it tested enough? So many of you may know I'm a teacher, and for me, everything is evidence-based. And so I wanted to be able to give people the best answer possible. And uh, so that's why I went and asked some of the experts. So while these, these vaccines may be new, the research behind them isn't at all. And scientists have been studying similar viruses and working on this type of vaccine for decades now. Right, Dr. Fauci? So when the pandemic started, they already had a blueprint ready to go. And today, these vaccines are held to the same safety standards as every other vaccine that you've ever gotten. Number two, it's effective. And this is so important for your health. Studies show that they, you know, offer almost perfect protection against death and hospitalization. And number three, it's free. Maybe with, you know, work and family, you know, maybe you think, gosh, I don't have time to go to a clinic. So I want you to know that most places don't even require an appointment. You can just walk up and get your shot. And if you need a ride, Uber and Lyft are offering free rides. And no matter where you live here in the state of Florida, there is a vaccination site close by. Just go to vaccines.gov and find one. So it's still, you know, it's okay if you still have questions. You know, talk to your doctor or your pharmacist or your, um, maybe you wanna talk to your child's pediatrician. This is your choice. So get the information that you need. And as Lakeisha can tell you, tell you um, they don't hurt, do they? Not at all, right? It didn't hurt, right? Did you all think it hurt? No, see, not one person said, yes, it hurts. So <laughs> I promise, you know, I barely felt mine and I hate needles. And here in Tampa, you might even win tickets to Friday's hockey game. So I even feel like I should go get it again so I can go to the game. <laughs> So choose to get your shot, spread the word.
because you want to come and you want to see this team win. So God bless you, Tampa. Go get vaccinated. God bless you, Bolts. You can do it. Thank you. Thanks. Oops.